Hi everyone, it's Kylie. Today, I'm so, 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 so absolutely excited because I'm going to be talking about a brand that I've been obsessing over for a few months. I'm talking about Glamnetic. I stopped making makeup videos a long time ago because I realized that I suck at editing them, so I don't do many videos like this anymore. This is not a sponsored video. I've never been contacted by Glamnetic. I have never talked to any of pertaining to magnetic lashes before, so I have never ever tried any type of magnetic lash. Actually, that's untrue. Back when the first type of magnetic lash came out, it was like two lashes, and they had magnets on each side, and you sandwiched them together with your lash in between, and it just was not working out. I tried them, and they sucked. They were by Aradel, which is like a pretty generic brand for lashes. I don't wear lashes very often either. I have a few. This is my old nasty case, and it has, oh my gosh, they're all clumped together. I wash them often, so, you know, it's... They don't always look this gross. I usually use glue. I use a good quality glue, but the whole reason why I don't wear lashes all the time is because I hate the glue. I hate having to do that extra step. I have to wait for it to dry, and then I have to apply it so delicately. It's just always been more of a hassle, so I just decide not to do it. But I absolutely love the way lashes look, so I decided to try out Glamnetic. Let's go ahead and talk about the lashes that I have today. So they have different collections, and so oops, I have four lashes that I purchased today, and the Lust Lash. This one, this one is 15 millimeters and it's a medium drama round lash from the L series. This is Lucky. Lucky is a 12 to 13 millimeter natural winged synthetic lash. This one is called Vixen. This is from the V series. Vixen is a 14 to 15 millimeter natural slightly wispy synthetic lash and interesting variety of packaging by the way. This one is called Verified, a 12 to 14 millimeter winged synthetic lash. So these four lashes are all chosen through their chart that they have on their website. It lists off the round lashes, the more cat eyelashes, um, from short to long. It's really specific, so it was a lot easier for me to decide which ones I wanted from there. Each of these are about 30 bucks. They're $29.99, and I ordered five items, which means I got 20% off because they have bundle deals. The more you buy, the more of a discount you get. For all four lashes, and magnetic eyeliner. I paid $126.36. I got $31.59 off because of the five item bundle being 20%. This eyeliner is $37.99 on its own and it is nine millimeters so I checked it out. It's very tiny to me. Like I did not realize it was going to be this small and paying almost $40 for something this small makes me feel hurt a little but you know I know that there's technology behind it if I like it then it's worth it but um, in my head nine millimeters sounded like it would be a lot more milliliters alright so I'm gonna try this on the very first time ever it says on the website that you have to do two coats of the eyeliner and you have to wait 10 seconds for them to dry each so one thing I actually want to do is one of these eyes I'm gonna do all of it with only this eyeliner on the other eye I'm going to use my regular eyeliner and only use this on the lash line on top of that eyeliner. Ooh, it's like nice and liquidy, like of course it's liquid eyeliner but I've, I'm excited about the consistency of it already. It smells and looks just like regular eyeliner. I actually never put my eyeliner all the way across my eye but because I'm doing this for sticking on an entire lash. I'm gonna just do it the way everyone else does it. This is the eye with the full Glamnetic Magnetic Eyeliner. I'm gonna apply regular eyeliner to the other eye. It's also gonna be a liquid. So this is how I would usually wear my eyeliner. 
but this one you can see I extended all the way across my whole eye because I want it to be able to stick to everything. I also anticipated that I might have to trim the lashes. I know that you can as long as you still have the magnets on them. So this has been lasting me like a year and I, ha I haven't been using it consistently. I've been using it on and off. If that can last me and this is more, then I'm good. Got a bunch of eyeliner on my finger and now I'm like so sad because I feel like I'm losing money. I'm so excited and I just can't hide it. My boyfriend's behind this curtain eating cookies and playing video games. Okay, so I think I'm gonna try out the Lucky Lash first. Stick it off, it sticks right back on. That's awesome. The one thing I actually forgot to do is put mascara on. I always put mascara on right before I put on lashes, so I feel like this is just the same as usual. Oh my gosh, I will say I did get some of the eyeliner on my eyelash and it stiffened up and it, it's like really clumpy now. It's not a deal breaker, I just realized I should be more careful. This is how we learn. Did it on this lash too, damn it. It's so stiff now. Today Scott and I went on a really fun walk around this little like beach area. I love the wildlife out there. So pretty. Okay, ready to apply. <gasps> wow. So the end of this lash is poking me in the face. Wow. That's incredible. I definitely feel it when I blink, but it's because it's too long. So why don't I go ahead and cut these? Okay, so I see something interesting. When I yanked this lash off, some of the eyeliner came off with it. There's little patches on my eye where it was removed. So I'm only removing one magnet from the inner corner right now. And that should be good. Wow, I can literally just pop this lash right on. The mistake I made was yanking the lash off too fast and then I also tried to reapply the lash on top of it without fixing it first and more came off. So I think the thicker the layer you have on your lid, the easier it is to peel off all by itself, kind of like overlapping layers of nail polish on your nail makes them easier to peel. So I'm gonna wait for this to dry. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Still feel like it's a little wet. This eyeliner is actually very sticky. It's almost like rubbery, like a very thin layer of rubber. Some eyeliners dry chalky. This one is nice and flexible and it's a little shiny. And it just reminds me of like a really watered down flexible rubber. I think it should be dry enough at this point. Take me a little bit of getting used to, to see... What? 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 Was my coughing too much? Totally. It'll take a little bit of getting used to. They feel really comfortable. I'm just not used to having a long lash. I usually cut them entirely in half and only wear an outer corner on my eye. But I, I mean, these are $30 lashes. I don't really want to destroy them until I know I'm not going to wear them at all unless they're cut that way. I want to wear them properly for a while. Now, I just have to wait for the quarantine to end in two months so that I can actually go to work and wear these all day to show you guys what it's like being a hairstylist and blow drying and there's air blowing up into your face and your lashes just fall off all day. So I'm going to take these off and put on another pair. I'm going to take them off super gently so that I don't remove the eyeliner. When I pull off these lashes, a little bit of the eyeliner does stick to the magnets on the lash. I know that I'll have to end up cleaning them all the time, which I don't have a problem with. Next I'm gonna do verified. That is incredible. They just like pop right on. This lash is long. I have not cut it yet. These are a more full lash, but they're more wispy. I feel very flirty with these lashes on. Little bits of the glue keep on coming off onto the lash magnets. 
you're able to wear them up to like 40 times or something. So now I'm gonna try Lust. The easiest way to get it in the right area is pinching it down against your lash line a little bit. Make sure it's all close enough to the edge. I'm a pro over here. definitely love these lashes. They are so big and voluptuous. These are mink lashes. They're the only pair of lashes in here that are mink. I usually don't like to use things like mink, but I know that mink is usually brushed from the mink. It's not like skinned off the mink, and even though some places that they get their mink lashes from are places where the mink is still harvested for slaughter, but you never know that really. You never know whether or not mink is being taken care of or not. All I know is that these lashes are from a brush that was used on a living mink. So I don't really feel too nasty about it. They're pretty. And I've never tried mink lashes before, so this might be my only pair, who knows. I'm okay with trying them at least once. So it is actually like 7 p.m. right now, and I'm not able to wear these throughout a whole day to show you guys the quality by the end of the day. So the only lashes I have not tried on yet are the Vixen lashes. These I'm gonna wear on a full day to show you guys how well the eyeliner holds up. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump to another day where I will be wearing the Vixen lashes. Today I'm wearing my Venus, no, Vixen. Today I'm wearing my Vixen lashes from Glamnetic and they are actually only applied with one layer of eyeliner even though I have two um, or even though you're supposed to use two I decided to challenge the eyeliner today I'm going to open this window right here and we're driving down a parkway and I'm gonna show you that the lashes do not come off Magneto scared for a second but they're still there like that's a lot of wind and I'm not wearing glue so Ooh. Um, also one thing that I realized I didn't talk about is how much my eyes water whenever I put on um, lashes so one of the biggest reasons why I don't like to wear lashes is because of how watery my eyes get when I put on mascara or eyeliner or lash glue, my eyes instantly become super reactive and they just start to water and water and water and they can continuously water for like 20 minutes to an hour and it really ruins my makeup because I'm on the go, you know? Because this is magnetic instead of being glue, when the eyelash gets wet from how watery my eyes are, it no longer falls off completely. It just, you know, it doesn't really do anything once. Because right now my eyes are super watery and my entire inner, or my entire, my entire outer corner of my eyes are really watery and my entire upper lash is just so wet that if this was glue, my lashes would have fallen off already. So it's good, it's good. <laughs> 